Hi and welcome back to another rare bird update from the Netherlands, week 37 already. In this video, no predictions, no western polyarctic news, but I do have the rarest birds of the Netherlands this week, let's go. Week 37 was a decent week for bird watching. Oversee, several long-tailed skuas, leecher storm trails, suvi and manx shearwaters and sabine skulls could be seen. On Tessel, there were still two barred wobblers and one was caught in an inland area. A major attraction turned out to be an eagle owl right in the heart of Nijmegen. Other than that, there were not many strikingly twitched semi-rarities, so let's move on to the real highlights. This week, no less than two great snipes were found. The first was present from the 9th to the 12th of September at Bergheide, unfortunately in a restricted area close to the public. On Sunday the 15th, Twitches were in luck with a bird found by Chris Janssen in South Holland. At one point, it showed part of its head, but most observers only saw the bird when it took flight. These represent the second and third photographed cases of the year. If accepted, they will be the 61st and 62nd cases for the Netherlands. In North Holland, the buff-rested sandpipe was still present all week, and occasionally showed itself beautifully for viewing and photographing. The black-winged pretinkel, found in Overijssel on September 8th, was last reported in the morning of the 10th, just making it into this week's overview. The lesser scorp was present all week at the Vogelmeer in North Holland, where it was joined by a ringneck duck from the 14th onwards. For the latter species, this is at least the 59th case for the Netherlands, though it could very well be the same bird that also swam in the dunes earlier this spring. On the 12th, the American Wigeon was again seen at Quade Hoek. On the same day, a flyover, Blackwing Kite, was picked up in Groningen. All of back pipits are early this year, with the second accepted case of the fall already recorded on the 13th. The call of this bird was recorded in the province of Limburg. The sighting from September 6th is also plausible. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to film the species. Hopefully, this fall I get a chance. On the 14th, a longbird dowager was found on Tessel. And now you're thinking, hey, wasn't there already one there? Yes, that's correct. There was a bird at the southern end of the island this summer. It was seen there until the first of the month. Now one has appeared at the northeastern part of the island. However, it is very likely the same bird that has moved a bit. On the last day of the week, in addition to the aforementioned great snipe, a white-headed duck was also found. A young bird or an older female, judging by its plumage. Until the 12th, a bird in similar plumage had also been present just across the border in Germany. Since it has now disappeared from there and one has appeared here, it is quite possible that it is the same bird. Last year, two birds were seen in the Bispos, but they were ultimately not accepted as their early appearance didn't align with what could be expected from a wild bird from the anticipated area. What ultimately happens with this case remains to be seen. If it is the same one from Germany, the question is whether it appeared late enough. If it is a different bird, the question remains whether the lack of a leg ring is sufficiently proven. We will see. If you like these rare bird updates from the Netherlands, then make sure to hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.